We live in a special time and I will try to explain why. It is estimated that early life on this planet started to sprout around 4100 million years ago. Oh, that's, that's, that's long. Beware, when I'm talking about the earliest life, I'm not even talking about cells. I mean, they weren't even evolved to cells. So it took them around 2000 million years to evolve to more complex cells and it took them almost 3000 million years to evolve to a sexual reproduction species that would lead to faster evolutions. There where genes are mixed in every generation enabling greater variations for the subsequent selection. And remember, every creature I mentioned now are all single cell creatures. Evidence leads towards the thinking that the earliest multicellular animal was a sponge-like creature and that was around 600 million years ago. Flatworms, which came to existence around 550 million years ago, were the earliest known creatures, animals, to have a brain. Like most people know, every life came to existence in the sea first. And it was around, well, 500 million years ago where we first got some kind of prehistoric fishes. Wow, that took quite a while, right? But after around 120 million, those fishes started to evolve to amphibian-like creatures. So they started to move uh, onto the land. Those creatures were called the tetrapods. And it took them around 120 million years to evolve to a more advanced land creature called the mammals. Of course, we can't forget about the creatures that have been in between those two, and those were the reptile dinosaurs. How they came to extinct was probably an alien race that was called humans. And no, just kidding. Um, well, probably a meteor. Yeah, we'll go with that one. And we're almost at the human era and around 65 million years ago came the first primates to existence. Around 2 million years ago started the whole Homo uh, species, I mean the Homo habilis, the Homo erectus, Homo sapiens. That thing evolved to the Neanderthaler and that evolved to the human as we know. So 80,000 years ago became the time era of the humans. 6,000 years ago we started civilization, we started to make buildings, we started to use tools, we, we had fire, we used many many things, we invented many things. But it's kinda odd, I mean, we're living in the era where in the past 100 years we really started to evolve. We invented electricity, we have invented television, radio signals, space exploration, underwater exploration, we have science, we have, I mean, the medicine world, it's really amazing what we're doing right now. And we're living in that time era. I mean, humans have been living for 80,000 years without things like a computer game. And we're having the most advanced computer games of our time era. We've landed on the moon. We can make huge metal ships fly in the air. We can use a telephone. We can order a pizza at your home. And the freakiest part is the fact that only the past 10 years people have been living virtual. I mean, social media, that's only been around for 10 years now. Internet, it's amazing. But what will it bring? What will be the consequences or will we only be beneficial? Is it part of our evolution? For the last 15 years we're going really fast. We have MR scans which enables us to use magnets to see the entire inside of our body. We have incredibly powerful and destructible weapons. We're planning to go to Mars. Hell, we even launched a fucking car into space which is in orbit. I mean, it's like everything we're thinking about we can almost all achieve it. It would make you almost think we're living in a virtual reality. The entire planet Earth has been orbited by satellites. We're monitoring everything, we're helping people, we're saving people, we're killing people, we're destroying people. But isn't it an amazing time to be alive? Isn't it an amazing time to spend your time in life? I mean, 
we have eventing theme parks for the past 50 years, but that has never been around before. We are watching big blockbuster movies with special effects that almost look real. We're playing video games, we're living lives we're not really living, we're living virtual lives. And for the past 10 years, friends go out, but they have been communicating the whole time from in their room. But still, isn't it a wonderful time to be alive?